Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I've got this Radio Link T8S radio that we're going to see if we can um, program for a Tamiya MFC. I've got a Tamiya MFC donor truck here, so I can see if it works. This is a tiny little radio. Uh, radio Link contacted me and said, "Hey, do you think you can program this thing to work with an MFC?" And I said, "Sure, I think so. We'll, we'll uh, give it a shot." So let's get started. So Radio Link. Uh, like my video of the AT-10 II um, programming it for the Tamiya MFC and wondered if I could do it with the uh, T-8S and I said yeah probably so they sent me one and uh, <laughs> kind of an interesting little radio it's uh, nicely packaged with a little manual but there we go it is tiny small. Comes with the uh, transmitter, comes with a charging cable, and it comes with a very, very nice little um, eight channel receiver that's just tiny, which makes it super easy to hide in a, in a truck. So that looks pretty good. So the radio itself um, is, it's really little. Um, Personally, I like, you know, a big bulky radio I can hang on to, but I can see uh, a, that this could be useful when you want to maybe uh, drive your truck and kind of hide the radio. Uh, matter of fact, I've got a, a life-size R2-D2 that I built, and I take him to shows and stuff, and I may actually even switch it over to this radio for that very reason, so I can hide out a little bit better. Uh, four sticks, digital trim buttons, and then it has a knob control, a push button control, a three-way switch, and a three-way switch. So it's an eight-channel radio uh, in a very little package. Has a rechargeable battery. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. I, I think rechargeable batteries are nice. You don't have to buy batteries, but. Uh, sometimes it's nice to be able to change them if you're in an all-day event and you need more radio battery power but this may run for quite a while on uh, on a charge so the cool thing about this radio is since it's so small there's no place to put a programming screen so what radio link has done is put all the programming on an app so you have to go to the app store or the android store we'll go to the app store here on my phone you look up Radio Link and you download the app and open it. And now you basically have this app here on your on your device. Now I'm going to switch over to my iPad because I think it'll show up better on uh, on video. And I'll just show the simple programming required to make this work with an MFC. Then I have a truck with an MFC in it. We'll hook it up and uh, see how everything works. So I've got my uh, my app here. Turn this radio on, and uh, there's a connect button here. Radio link comes up, and now it's beeping, which means it's connected. It said to press any trim button to stop the beeping, and now we've got our monitor so you can see that uh, channel 2 here channel 1 basically everything shows up on on the monitor so uh, we'll show you how to program this I'll be right back alright um, so we, we showed the servo monitor all the little switches and knobs that do stuff um, pretty straightforward uh, system so we've got a basic programming here where they have normal and reverse for the channels. Now this radio came with channel 3 reverse so I'm going to type that and switch it to normal. Okay uh, and that should set that the way I want it for it to be a truck. Now the advanced tab here gives you your dual rates. Now normally what we want is we want a switch where we have the switch this way 
it'll give us 75% and this way it'll give us 100% on channels 2 and 4. So if you can see here we've got a dual rate column. We'll go from inhibit to on. Click OK. That's channel 2. That's when we want to set to 75. So we go 75. Oh, it's uh, had 100 in there. I had, to back, I had to back up to get it to take 75. Okay, so now we have mix on channel 2, switch A, which is the switch here. Um, one little note, the switches aren't labeled on the radio switch ABC like most radios. So you have to flip into the manual and it tells you switch A and knob B and which ones are which. I actually didn't even do that. I just played with the switch on the screen. So I've got that one done. Now we want to do the same thing for channel 4. Click OK. On switch A. We're going to set that to 75. 75. Done. OK. So now we have channel 4 and channel 2 set to dual rates. Now that I've done that, I have to save it to the radio. So you click the right button and the radio beeps. Now we'll go back here to the servo monitor and with my switch in the back position now you can see that I've got 75 percent on channel 4. Flip it to the front position I've got 100 percent on channel 4. Back position I've got 75% on channel 2, right here. Flip to the front position. And 100% on channel 2. And that's the programming we need for a, um, to me, a truck. Now, this three position switch here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is set on channel 5, and that's perfect for our transmission. So we don't need to do anything. These other switches, the knob, this push button here, can be used um, to activate other functions um, later. If you wanted to hook up a servo or something, you could hook it to channel 8. We're not going to do that today. We're really just going to concentrate on the programming for um, to me a truck. So let me grab a truck and we'll plug this thing in and see how it works. Okay, so I've got a to me a truck here. This happens to have an MFC in it. I've got the body loose so we can take it off, matter of fact. Take it off. So we can see the MFC. We also have the shift servo right here. So this will hook up the same way as, as the Fly Sky radio. J4 will go to channel 1. J6 will go to channel 2. Notice they're not in order. J5 will go to channel 3. And J7 will go to channel 4. And the shift servo will go to channel 5. Now that's all there is to it. Now um, we'll get the radio and we'll turn this on and we'll map it and see how it works. Okay, so to map this we'll turn our truck on. Turn the volume down a bit there. Okay, so I'll press the map button. Truck will shut off. Same mapping procedure as every other radio. So we, we've got this switch in the 75% position. Let's so go up to down, right to left, up to down, right to left, and then push the map button again. Truck will start back up. Um, Okay, we should be good to go. Let's uh, take a look here. So, 
with the dual rate switch in the back position, I have my long horn and my short horn. In the front position, we'll turn on the emergency flashers, flip it again to turn them off, and flip it down. First position, we'll turn on the running lights, second position, headlights third position aux lights and fourth position back off again put that in the back position we're back to horn okay, I'm going to reposition the truck we'll look at the turn signals okay we moved the truck around a little bit so we've got turn signals right turn and left turn so we've got forward, brake, forward, brake, and then we have our um, turn signals again, like I said, or we can flip this down and we can turn on our hazards, turn those off, we can turn on our lights, and flip through those and turn them off. So it works. Um, the same as all the other radios. Uh, actually works quite well. Our shifting is here. I can hear the servo moving. I do not have a shift rod hooked up in this truck yet, but yeah, it, it uh, works pretty darn good. Let me uh, turn this off and reposition it. Here's our truck again. So our other functions with the switch forward, we can move this over and this up to shut down the engine. Turn it back on. I'm going to turn this down. So we've got our forward, reverse. Now one thing that's important to note is when you move the stick right and left, you can go slower and faster bolt and forward, irrespective of, i got to get these tires straightened up, irrespective of um, where the throttle is here. So with a three-speed transmission and the throttle stick having three more speeds here, it's like having nine speeds. And that's true of any radio with an MFC. Turn this thing off. So there you go, That's uh, you can see how small this radio is. Holy moly, it's tiny. So that's the, uh, the Radio Link T8S. Uh, you can order it with or without a centering stick. You, you have to order the proper version. So if you get one, make sure you order the one with the centering left stick. And uh, it comes that way, so no mods required. Uh, it works really good. As I as I look at this, I've got a special project I'm going to be doing here pretty soon, and I'm going to use this radio because this special project, I want a small radio. So that'll be upcoming in a future video, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the programming with the phone is kind of unique, but the nice part about it is you don't have to have a screen on the radio so you can make it really small, plus it's really easy to do. Um, sometimes a lot easier than pushing up and down buttons on the radio. You can kind of read it. It even has the capability to store programs and load them depending on um, what you want to do. So if you had this radio, say, operating several different vehicles, you could have a program for each vehicle. You would have to Bluetooth to this to, to set it, but it's really not very hard. So anyway, uh, there we go. Quick little video, but that's kind of cool. And... Uh, uh, I'll put some links in the description of uh, to Radio Link for more information about this radio. Uh, there you go. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.